Namaskar. Welcome to Yoga with Sapna. This tutorial is on the shoulder stand, the Sarvang Asan. So to come into the shoulder stand, we lie back and we keep our hands on our hips. We swing our legs up and the body up. We walk the hands down the back, closer and closer to the shoulders, straightening up, trying to get the legs and the torso into as straight a line as we can. And we get that chest thrust right into the chin, creating a nice firm chin lock. And then we hold this position as long as we can. Start off with half a minute and build up to a three, three full minutes. Now, if you have any strain in the neck and you don't want to go so deep in the posture, you could do a modification, which is called the Vipreet Karni, where we drop the hips down, we slant the torso. So from the shoulders to the hips, we keep the body at a 45 degree angle from the floor, but we keep the legs straight. The legs should be perpendicular to the floor. So here you fi you'll find immediately the stress and the pressure from the neck area is eased off and you're still getting the benefits of this wonderful full inversion. And for those who have been doing the Sarvangas and shoulder stand and you find you can hold it comfortably, then you should go a step further and start practicing the unsupported shoulder stand, the Niralamb Sarvangasan, in which you balance completely on the shoulders, and then you remove the support of the hands, you raise the arms up alongside the body, and hold. And practice holding this again as long as you can. And to come out of the posture, get the hands down, you can ease the toes behind, flatten the arms, and roll down slowly. So after doing the shoulder stand, it's important to do a counter stretch, which is your fish, Matsyasan, and that eases any compression that might have happened in the region of the neck. So for fish, we roll left and right, we get the arms nicely tucked under, we can interlock the thumbs under the body, keep the legs together, feet together, and then we press down with the elbows, lift the upper body up, we thrust the chest out, and relax the head back, drop the head back, and let the top of the head lightly graze the floor, all the weight on the elbows. And then holding this position, we do nice deep breathing. On the inhales, we expand that chest, feeling the ribs pulling and stretching, holding the breath for a bit. And with the exhale, we relax the chest. On the inhales, we push down with the elbows, expand the chest, and feel the lungs inside inflate and fill up. Hold the breath for about five seconds. Exhale, we let go. So we should do this about five, six times. And then to release the posture, we press down with the elbows, raise the head up. With the lifted chest, we look at our feet. And then slowly stretching the spine towards the head, we lie back. We get the arms out. And then relax here again, massaging the back into the floor, rolling left and right. For those who find the full shoulder stand challenging, you could do a supported shoulder stand against the wall. So for this, you need to come close to a wall and sit with your hips close to the wall, swing your legs up the wall and then uh, raise the hips up, climb the legs up so your heels have the support of the wall and you're in to the supported shoulder stand, your hands are supporting the hips. If you find this is also a little stressful, you can rest your hips on a bolster. So keep a bolster here, rest the hips on the bolster, slide the legs down a little, and here you're supported now at two places. The legs against the wall, the hips on a bolster. Let me show you how that would be with the bolster. So we have our bolster here. We have the legs swung up, and the hips are supported on the bolster, the legs are supported on the wall, and you're in a very comfortable inverted asan, getting all the benefits of this upside down posture. Then there's another way that we could do a supported shoulder stand, a supported sarvangasan, and that's with the help of a chair, a bolster, and a blanket. So you can place your chair like this, and place a blanket on the seat of the chair, and then place a bolster on the floor, right here in front of the chair. Then you're going to sit in the chair the wrong way around, and you're going to swing your legs up on the chair back, and then slowly slide your shoulders 
till they rest on the bolster and then your head goes further down to the floor and you've brought yourself into a complete full inversion with the help of the chair and the bolster. So if you find you want a cushion under your head, you could place a cushion as well under the head. So the head with the cushion under, the shoulder supported on the bolster, the hands gripping the sides of the chair and the legs stretched up straight. And then to ease out of this posture, do that gently. Just slide the body down. Ease down, slide down and roll off. And you can always you ask somebody to help you to slide down as well. So those are the different ways we can get ourselves up into this wonderful posture, the Sarvangas and shoulder stand. Namaskar.